good evening friends welcome back to my channel pediatric classes uh, so today we will discuss about the differences between monkeypox disease and hand foot mouth disease we have previously uploaded the videos separately for monkeypox hand foot mouth disease etc i've got a few uh, requests regarding for this video that is just a short video on the differences between these two why it is important is many times we are seeing cases in the opd as you all know there's been surge of cases and about hand food mouth disease recently so and with this uh, surge of monkeypox also coming up people may get confused whether it is a case of monkeypox or whether it is a case of hand food mouth disease so with this intro let me start going into uh, sharing of the screen Okay. And if you have not subscribed my, to my uh, channel or attending this session for the first time, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Okay. Thank you. And so, so here we are going to discuss about the differences between monkeypox and hand food mouth disease. The, first, uh, about the etiology. So, what is the difference in etiology? Monkeypox disease is because of uh, orthopox virus genus of pox varied family okay whereas hand food mouth disease are is because of poxaki virus like a2 a4 to a10 a16 b2 b3 b5 etc endrovirus a71 echo virus 6 9 16 19 etc and uh, so the etiology itself or is different between monkeypox and hand food mouth disease this is for theoretical knowledge actually transmission in monkeypox it is both from animals and also humans, whereas hand food mouth disease only human to human transmission. So, what about the occurrence? Is how which is more frequent? Actually, monkeypox is not that frequent. Maybe in uh, endemic countries, yes, maybe it is frequent, but hand food mouth disease is really frequent in most of the countries. Exposure risk, monkeypox, as I have discussed, this is endemic in Central and West Africa. Also, now is found in many non endemic countries. Uh, two and a hand foot mouth disease any areas wherever there is daycare area schools uh, all the areas are high risk exposure zones for hand foot mouth disease but who are the population affected about monkeypox both adults and the pediatric population are affected whereas hand foot mouth disease mostly affects children less than five years recently we have seen that the children up to 10 years are also getting affected but please note here Rarely, adults are also affected by hand foot mouth disease. But this is a predominantly uh, hand foot mouth disease is a disease of children. So, what about the transmission? As I mentioned earlier, monkeypox is both human to human transmission and animal to human. Human to human, like it is, can be because of large respiratory droplets spread or a direct contact with bodily fluids or a lesion material, the lesions, or an indirect contact with the lesion material, such as maybe through a contaminated clothing or linens or used by the affected person. What about the animal to human transmission? It is because by of bite or scratch of infected animals like small mammals including rodents and also non-human primates like monkeys, apes, etc. And also through bushmeat preparations. This we have discussed in detail on the video about monkeypox. If you have not seen the video, please refer back to the video on monkeypox. Okay, whereas hand food mouth disease, this is mostly a human to human transmission. Again, through dry respiratory uh, droplets, so, or direct contact with the fluids or the lesions, or in direct contact with the lesion materials. Like, so both the respiratory spread is there, direct contact is there, indirect contact. Plus, please note here, hand food mouth disease also spreads through virus is seen in stool. So, even a, a stool uh, that uh, can spread through stool also. Now, what about the incubation period of monkeypox? Incubation period of monkeypox is 6 to 13 days. Uh, now, U is not there. Okay? It means the range can range even up to 21 days. Hand food mouth disease generally it is 3 to 6 days. What about the period of communicability? The period of communicability is 1 to 2 days before the onset of rash to until all the scabs have fallen off or getting subsided. Whereas, this hand foot mouth disease is most infectious in the first week, but this virus is seen in stool even up to four to six weeks. What about the symptoms? Symptoms of monkeypox starts with a prodrome or flu like symptoms, headache, myalgia, etc. Rash happens one to four days after fever. Whereas HFMD again starts with fever, so throat, and all this, but rash comes one to two days after the fever. 
hand food must many a day time children will just come with rolling of saliva when you see the throat there will be big big uh, ulcer seen too so that is another way they may refuse to take or children may just be brought with irritable cry because this once they start this lesion start coming they'll have itchiness and uh, small babies won't be able to tell all this whether they're crying because of itchiness and all so irritable cry also we have to be careful we have to look carefully into the body also to see if or any lesions are there or not what about the rash duration that is a very important point clinching to the diagnosis of monkeypox or hand food mouth in monkeypox is a long duration it lasts for up to even a month two to four weeks whereas hand food mouth this is generally settles in one to two uh, weeks actually okay so there is a very important point which I have told is about the rash duration. So please note that point. And about the other one, uh, what about the, what's the rash type? See, monkeypox disease, the rashes actually progresses from initially it will be macule, then you will see papules, then the vesicles, then pustules, and then scales, uh, scabs, and then it starts uh, healing. Okay, whereas uh, see this different uh this is in contrast with the chicken box chicken box and you see you know what happens we will see all the type of lesions at the same time whereas in hand food mouth this is macules or papules will be seen sometimes the lesions will become vesicular and they will have a blubby like features and then they will even break open and will have a small shallow ulcers but in monkey pox these lesions heal with scarring whereas in hand food mouth disease they heal without scarring this is another important point differentiating between monkey pox and hand food mouth disease what about the distribution of lesions in monkey pox in monkey pox the macule starts from the face spreads to arms legs palms so, so it's actually a centrifugal distribution this can involve the genitalia and also conjunctiva in case of monkeypox whereas hand food mouth disease palms and soles are involved can also occur in knees elbows genitalia buttocks etc so again a differentiating feature about the monkeypox and hand food mouth Generally, monkeypox can even affect conjunctiva, whereas hand food mouth definitely does not affect conjunctiva. Okay, so another important differentiating feature is about the presence of lymphadenopathy in monkeypox, whereas generally lymphadenopathy is absent in hand food mouth disease. Duration of illness, we already discussed around 2 to 4 weeks in monkeypox, whereas hand food mouth is only 7 to 10 days. What about the lab investigation? Actually, in monkeypox, we are going for lab investigation, which is a PCR. We have discussed in detail about lab investigations in the uh, previous video on monkeypox. Please refer back to that video for further uh, investigations. So, the PCR is actually done from the lesions, from the roof of it, from the base of it, even from the vesicular fluids. Whereas, hand food also is like, it's a mostly a clinical diagnosis. If at all you want to do, you can do PCR for epidemiological purposes. Okay. Again, from the lesions. And even stool can also be uh, used for PCR. What about the fear complication uh, between hand food mouth disease and monkeypox? Monkeypox have more risk of complications like secondary infections, pneumonia, sepsis, encephalitis, even a coronal involvement. I told you conjunctal lesions are there. If they involve the cornea, they will lead to even a loss of vision. Whereas hand food mouth disease Generally, it is uncomplicated, but if there are certain known rare complications like persistent stomatitis, what happens then you can even lead on to dehydration because because of the pain, children will not take anything. There are certain risk of CNS complications, especially with enterovirus MD1. Uh, they can have brainstem encephalitis, acute flaccid paralysis, aseptic meningitis, GBS, acute cerebellar ataxia, etc. Then hand food mouth disease also can have rare complications like interstitial pneumonia, pulmonary edema, pulmonary hemorrhage, myocarditis, pancreatitis, onychomatosis. When I say onychomatosis, that means the peeling of the nasal nails will, uh, nail will start falling off. So, these are all the complications, diff difference in complications between a monkeypox and hand food mouth disease. So, in short, when you ask me uh, the clinically, when you see the lesions, when you ask the, see, the patient, how can you differentiate it? Very shortly, if you ask me, I'll say a few clinching diagnostic points. That is, one is about the distribution of lesions. Second is about the presence of lymphadenopathy. In monkeypox, generally lymphadenopathy will be present, whereas in hand food mouth disease, lymphadenopathy generally will be absent. And if you see a similar uh, type of lesions, actually 98% of the cases of monkeypox will have facial involvement, whereas in uh, hand food mouth disease, they can have uh, involvement in the fish, but then the predominant involvement is palms and soles and genitalia, buttocks, etc. So, another clinching point is about the duration of illness or the duration of the rash. 
what happens to the rash? The rash lasts longer. That is around two to four weeks in monkey pox. Whereas in hand, foot, mouth, this is it generally lasts you around one to two weeks. And other thing is about the healing. Once you see uh, the lesions are healing with scarring, that actually clinches to diagnose of monkey pox rather than hand, foot, mouth disease. Uh, because most of the hand, foot, mouth disease generally will leave a painless shallow also and they heal without scarring. So uh, compl complication differences also we have discussed. I hope in this session you are clear about the differences between a monkeypox disease and hand foot mouth disease. Keep watching the videos. Thank you and stay safe.